Hey guys, what's up? So this video is brought to you by Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you guys are trying to get into software development, iOS development, software QA, and other stuff, check out the link in the description tab below. They are offering courses. Um, you can actually live on campus over there. They are hooked up with employers around the country, um, around the, the world really, and they're going to help you try to find your first job in this industry. So uh, make sure you give them a look, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp, and the link is in the description tab below. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm actually talking about why you should learn Vue and Vuetify. Um, and, and to be honest with you, like I started playing with this. The other day I made a video uh, and I'll, I'll just be honest, like all programmers make mistakes. I straight up had a typo in that thing. I had been working all day, came home, wasn't seeing straight. Like programming is all about like puzzles and sometimes you just aren't seeing the puzzle pieces because you've been working all day. But uh, in that case, like it's so anyway, bad, uh, bad look on, on my part. But to get started with Vue and, and Vuetify, like it, it's it's very simple. And the reason why you want to do that is Vue.js popular client side framework that rivals both Angular and React. And it's actually easier to use and reason about than both of them. Um, and then Vuetify is actually bringing the, the Google Material Design Project, which was released in 2014, um, to Vue using a bunch of already pre-built components. So when I say pre-built components, like they have components for all kinds of stuff. So like you're going to, like you could just easily bring in all these different components and stuff like that. And the, um, the setup is, is actually very minimum. So the reason why you want to learn this, like I think in 2019 is that you don't have to really build much of a, a, of a like UI at all, really. It's all built for you. And then you just, you build components, add properties to the components. You can extend them to your liking but to run a full stack website, you would just need to focus in on, you know, having Node.js and, and writing your, um, you know, your APIs that are going to be feeding the data to these components. So you're going to be spending most of your time doing that as a web developer using these technologies. And then I think extending these components and making them uh, much more robust. I, I think uh, the amount of components that are available with Vuetify like allows you to, to really, you know, differentiate your site from other people's. And you'll see really uh, easily how, how, um, how we can get started. Uh, the setup can be difficult because a lot of people are running different environments. So typically when you go to like Vuetify and you go to set it up, like there's different options. You can download the CDN and all that stuff. But the best thing to do is I'm going to have this folder here. I'm going to create a new file. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and open in the terminal. We're going to go ahead and npm init and create our initialization file. Uh, we're, we're just going to call this uh, view example. All right, so let's go down here. I don't care about any of this stuff. All right, so now we have our npm config. We're gonna go ahead and install um, the view CLI command line tool, the global install of it though. So we're gonna say npm install. And for npm to, to work, uh, you guys have to have Node.js installed on your machine. Uh, hopefully you guys are familiar with that, but Node.js, you can download it for free. Uh, but once that's installed, the npm package manager will work and we can say hyphen G for global install say at view forward slash CLI. This is gonna download the latest version of the command line interface uh, tool. And this has a few things. There's actually now this uh, visual, like actual application that you can run and do a bunch of settings to install like all these different plugins and stuff like that, uh, which is a new feature for the CLI tool. But basically it's just gonna have a bunch of um, command line options that you can run that are gonna spin up projects and things like that for you. So to go ahead and get started with Vue, we just need to go ahead and say Vue create, and then this is gonna be the name of our project. It'll be a, a music project. This gives you the option of, um, you can have default settings if you, it, well, the default settings are ES6, so you're gonna write the latest version of JavaScript and it uses Babel to compile that to older versions. All right, so now that this thing downloads half the internet, we just need to go ahead and CD into the music directory. And now we're gonna say a Vue add Vuetify. I gotta spell this right. All right, this is gonna go ahead and in install and add a Vuetify to the existing project. Um, and then what we need to do is just go ahead and say add the default, that's fine. All right, so now that installed correctly. If we wanna go ahead and serve the application, we just have to say npm run serve. All right, so now that this thing is running, if we just control click, it'll open up in localhost. And you can see that we have our music website. In addition to that, we also have the material design added to it. 
So to take a closer look at this, um, we're going to go ahead and open up the music folder that got created for us. And inside this package.json, this is where you're going to see that it has all the uh, developer dependencies and the actual dependencies for the application to run. And there's really only two that the application needs, and that's Vue for the main library and then Vuetify built on top of that. Uh, but this went ahead and it added this Hello World View. And the way this works is the app view is the main starting point for this Vue.js project. And inside of here, it actually has the, the com first component, but any one of these, like uh, like this V app or this V toolbar, you can pass in all kinds of properties to it. There's, and it's gonna recompile, it's gonna have hot reloading built out of the box or enabled out of the box. So basically these Vuetify components, they're all, they have toolbars, they have all these different image things. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you all of them, but they have all these different properties that you can pass to them and it changes their behavior. So you can see it's a huge time saver. It's even smart enough to put in cascading styles on the component itself that's being rendered for you. So I could actually change the color of the text to something like purple. So the hot reloading out of the box for the, the view CLI project is pretty awesome actually. Uh, and then Vuetify itself is, is pretty impressive as well because um, I mean, it takes bootstraps concepts, I, I think a step further as far as, um, yeah, there are React com component libraries out there and things like that, but the, but it's pretty impressive as far as Vuetify um, being able to really solidify, like it become a large enough project to really give you all the component stuff that you need. So um, if you look at the documentation here, there, there's all the UI components that are listed and there there's a ton of them here. So it, even ratings, you know, so if you want to have rating systems and stuff like that, there's a component already built for you out of the box. You simply just have to add the V rating component just like you saw with the toolbar. And like the toolbar that we were messing with is right here. And then on the documentation, it's all clearly spelled out. Like, so it's, it, you couldn't, it, it doesn't really get too much more simple really to get started. Uh, but you can see like all these different things that, that, that mean something and it has uh, the, the, the meaning of all that. So like for the most part with Vue.js, you're gonna be using Vuetify's um, components and you can extend your own or build your own, but um, for the most part, they have what you need. So you can just use all the Vuetify components to create your website. And then for the, for all your complexity, it's really just building up, um, you know, like a server side API that is going to be feeding these components data. So if we wanted to add the rating component, we can see that it's just the, the V rating. So it's just as simple as uh, copying that. I don't even need to copy it obviously, but I'll just put it inside, um, the content. So you can also nest children in here. So V rating. And now you can see at the bottom of the page, we actually have a working rating system. So there's event hooks and things like that that you can wire into. Um, so when the four you know, stars are clicked or whatever, the values are being passed and posted to your server so you can store it in a database or wherever you want to store it. Um, but that's really, that's really it. And uh, I think that's enough of an example why people just want to just go ahead and get started with that and just mess around, especially if you uh, are new to the client side nightmare of web stack development uh, when it comes to like React or something like that. Um, I also do have a, uh, a course available that I want to mention. Um, and that is the web development in 2019 from start to finish. It goes into a lot more detail on Webpack, dev server, things like that. So a lot of stuff that Vue.js Vue is actually um, doing as well. This is uh, much more like in depth. So you're not just spinning up a brand new project. You actually see uh, much in much more detail how to actually create the project from the ground up. Uh, but in addition to that, it covers how to like apply it to like Django and ASP.NET and also to... Um, like ASP.NET using .NET Core, and then also to Node.js and Express. So it's three different examples, and like it goes through, and I buy the domain. I show how to like do DNS forwarding and, and set up my domain and all that stuff. It's roughly seven hours of content. There's a link uh, in the description tab below that's actually a discounted link compared to what the full price is here. So I'll be perfectly honest. I thought about doing a tutorial series on getting started with Vue and Vuetify, but it's like it, it's there's no point. This is so simple that you could just there's really nothing I could expand upon with this. I mean, it's just, it's so simple. You just add in the component, you add the different properties, um, you bind that data based on your server side requirements. And, and you could even have localized data as well, if you wanted to, um, you know, like even locally stored data and files is what I'm talking about. 
um, that could still have dynamic behavior using these components. I suppose I could make a, a tutorial series on something like that, but um, that's about the extent of, I think, of what people need to know when it comes to, to dealing with Vue and, and Vuetify uh, at this point. Now, Vue, it, it goes, much, uh, there's much more into to Vue itself, but I, I think just for people that want to do basic websites and just use this, you know, the functionality that already exists out of the box, like, uh, if you're not looking to extend things very much, then like you certainly don't have to be a Vue.js expert to use this. So it boils down to the fact that if you want to do web development in 2019 and you actually want to do full-scale full scale development, actually spend time on the server side and uh, of building like uh, you know an API uh, and data structures, passing data back and forth, actually just basically focusing on other things besides just the how do I get the project up and running type of thing. Oh, now I finally was able to spin up a Hello World. This just allows you to jump right in and like you could start worrying about the other more complicated things that come up with full stack website development. So really, I think that's the biggest selling point for this because it honestly works out of the box. I would argue better than uh, create a React app or something like that. I think this is just a better option for people that are just jumping in uh, to client side development. But uh, if you're just jumping in the view as well, you might as well be using Vuetify too. So. So anyway, guys, that's all I got. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I appreciate the support and have a good day. So uh, if you have any questions or anything or suggestions, drop a comment. All right, bye.